So I'll be changing the clutch plates in it, or friction plates in my clutch today, because I burned them out uh, last season at the end of the year, of last year, 2018. And so today I'm going to go ahead and put in clutch plate or friction plates for the clutch. Also do some bleeding on my brakes, switch that out. And there's an extra surprise I'm going to try to do. Something is going on a... Uh, that I want to do so hopefully you guys caught a hand of that on our Instagram page and you saw it on our Facebook too but I'm gonna try to do that get that squared away and somebody might be stopping by to help me do it and I hope they do no I don't know if that was them it didn't sound like them that sounded like a car instead of a bike but we'll get going on it and like I told you guys before dragon cheese back baby <laughs> So hopefully we got everything we need. Um, really all we're going to need are Allen heads or Allen wrenches. I, I really need to get some T-handle hex heads. Got gloves to keep my, my hands a little bit clean. I got this degreaser a while back so I bought it again because I think it, it worked pretty well then. But I'm going to use this for the oil that spills on the headers um, when I actually take off the filter. So I'm going with a K&N performance filter for this one. This is a clutch kit that I'm going to put in. This came from Outlaw Racing Products. They sent this over for me to put in. This is going to be uh, Kevlar. As you can see, springs are included. The actual friction plates are included as well. I'm going to take those out, soak those. I'm going with the actual manufacturer's oil as well too. 10W40 by XR for Suzuki's. And brake fluid, I'm going to use modal for them. We're going to see how that works as well because I've never used them before. Handy dandy towel, which I don't need that right now. This is going to be the kit that we're using for the actual bleeding of the brakes. It's a little kit that I got. We'll see how that works because I've never done that before. My gasket came in as well too for me to replace for the actual clutch. So right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go, go and take the clutch plate. So I keep saying that. I'm going to take the friction plates and put them in the tub and soak them in oil while everything else is dismantled and putting everything aside. And hopefully, like I said, I got somebody who's going to stop by and help me get it done and finish up everything else and go from there. This isn't a really a how-to, but just a little quick overview of what you can do on yours if it's anywhere between... 11 to 17 because they're about the same for the 600 and 750 Suzuki's Thought I heard them again, but all I heard was birds. So I was wrong I'm gonna go ahead and take the oil filler cap off so that I can go ahead and have that air Flow and let it drain out pretty smoothly. So we'll do that now. Here comes the help <laughs> This is the actual ability for you to use sight level to see where your oil is. Low, high, you don't want to go above it. Look inside there. This is after I ran it for, for a little bit just to warm it up. That doesn't look good. And I don't mean about the level, I mean about the color. So let's go ahead, take this off so we can get some airflow. Let me see if my brake fluid looks bad. Let's see. Oh man, it looks like mud. That is straight fucking bad. Yeah, I wonder what the inside is. Look at that. That's straight horrible, man. It looks like some straight up diarrhea. Let's see if there's any metal shavings in there. Yeah. Focus up. There it is. Well, it ain't that bad because they're not that big, but. 
man. This thing probably ain't been serviced since I bought it. Well, I know I haven't been serviced since I bought it, but it ain't been serviced for a while. That's sad. <laughs> Looks like milk chocolate. The gasket is underneath this. I'm not gonna be able to reuse. Already can tell. Oh yeah. So it's already squeezing out. So I replace it with a new gasket. Once you do that, we take the plates out. Friction plates come out. They're soaking inside the bucket now. Those are the new ones. Biggest thing that's the most important thing when you're actually doing this is is that you do have to replace the new in the same positioning that the old was in. So we got the bolts out. Now we're gonna take the cover case off. The other th thing is, is that right here where my finger is, these pins, don't lose them. Cause you do not get those in the actual gasket or the kit when you buy the clutch plates, the friction plates. So I do it this way. You see it right there? Yeah. Where my finger's pointing. Right here, I gotta take this off. And then the sensor is here. So you can take the whole housing off. Because this doesn't just unplug like anything else. So it's best to take this, this, and this screw off. And then you'll be able to take this oh, right here and pop it away from the frame of it. And the only reason why I say do that is because simply if you don't, it'll just hang like this and it's in your way. So I'm going to show you real quick what it's not supposed to look like. See this? It's not supposed to be that brown. And as you can see, this cover or this plate can actually be cleaned off, okay? But the point is, is that if it looks like that here, and the oil look like it did earlier as well too, then there's a guarantee that plates are actually gonna be scorched or burned and they sometimes turn blue. This is what they call them decay that bullshit. <laughs> So my hands started hurting, so I had to get somebody younger and more skilled <laughs> to come and finish it up. Well, this is his, one of his right here, and she is nice. You painted that all yourself? Yeah. That's not bad at all. As much as it's gonna hurt, you painted something else, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, what happened? She didn't survive long. You can, you can tell how bad he feels because he won't even look up at the camera. <laughs> That's how bad he feels about the actual bike being in the position oh, it man, is. I was mad. Bryce had to go get his truck to take me home. <laughs> but at least you're still here. Yeah. Oh, man, my gear took it all. Gear is amazing. I've been, I was wearing the vest. When That's I, all you had on was, was on just my, your vest? Yeah, and it. They didn't even hurt my back. They didn't even knock their out of me. What'd you have on your arms? As usual, I, short sleeves. I just got, uh, yeah, just a little scratch there and right there. Broke. That's the culprit right there. Yep. Which one? This is the third one. Third friction plate inside is broken. And in all honesty, I swore I felt peace. And there it is. See it? Guess what? Fourth one. <laughs> fourth one inside is broken too. Yeah, they got too hot. Snapped them. Oh my god, bro. Look at that. Yeah, looks like it's whole. No, it's not. It's broke too. I can see, can you zoom in or just go in? See right here, yeah. And 
possibly down here. No, that's the only piece that's broken out, I believe, on this one. Dry too, isn't it? Yeah. Dry as a bone. This one's stuck pretty good. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. All right, we're gonna take a um, commercial break. <laughs> we're gonna take a commercial break so we can get this piece out to get to the last couple, and then we'll go from there. So we got <coughs> the plates off. As you saw, Dylan and I showed you four of them out of six yep. were broken. So I'm putting them in order now since they were already soaking earlier in the order they needed to go. So we can finish this up properly. The springs are still in there. And if my camera lady can get a good video of it, oh there's God. already one friction plate inside that we placed in that belongs. So go ahead and shoot that real quick. You see it? It's in there already. And the whole process now is, is me putting this in here without leaking too much oil on everything else. And it's not easy to just put them up there like this because they have to go a certain way. So... out and I said that they have to go back in the way they came out. I meant in the pattern of friction plates, not in the pattern of what goes here. All right, so we got the friction plates back in all the way. We're going to go ahead and put the new springs that are still soaking inside the um, oil down here we're gonna put the new springs in and then from there put the sensor back on put the cover back on and go from there might have to blow it again because it looks like dirt got in it but so far it doesn't look bad You know, we got to adjust my clutch lever because you remember we adjusted it when we were up in Rome that day? Yeah, it is just a little play on it. Father, it's supposed to be painful. Shut up. Get it. Get out of here. Grown folks are doing that. Hit me up, hit me up, please. did finish it ran into a few circumstances but with the help of a, a good pit crew that's not even paying attention to me right now <laughs> we, we got everything squared away so so i got oil i need to throw away too dispose of properly osha city county <laughs> But it's working fine. Took it out on a ride. She shifts perfect. 
Um, why did I have to change my actual friction plates on my clutch? Y'all ask me about it and I tell you. How did my, my, my friction plates become broken and so black? You ask me, I'll tell you. But not in this one. This was just video that we were doing on putting it in. So I need to shave. I need to comb my hair after we go for a ride. So I haven't been riding in a long time. So y'all can kiss my ass. We'll talk to y'all later. And as Raven 300 says always, ride your ride. And this is your boy Dragon Cheese saying, have fun, ride safe. Peace.